Hi everybody, it's Linda at the Crafting Depot over here and I am now going to be painting. Um, all right, let me move this over. So what I did was I took a piece of this, let me move this over. I took a piece of this cold pressed um, Viva Art um, watercolor paper. It's cold pressed, which means that it's kind of bumpy and or not bumpy but it has a texture it's 140 pounds you get 32 sheets and it's 9 by 12. so i took a piece of that paper out and i taped it to a board that i have here i used washi tape you have to be careful with the type of tape that you use don't use the painter's tape because that will rip some of the paper so the washi tape is pretty good for um you know when you take it off and I did it just to the reason why you put the um, paper onto another board any kind of board is so that you can move it around you, if you tape it to your table you're not going to be able to turn the paper around when you need to so you don't want to turn tape it to your table you tape it to a board and then um, the uh, the reason why you tape it is because you want um, well, you don't have to tape it. You could also just leave it on the board and then just, you know, move it around. But I taped it so that I would have like a little uh, white border around it when I take it off. So that's why I did that. And then I also use, you know, um, a rag. You can use a paper towel. A lot of people do that. And I'm going to be using the Grabby Brush. It's a number three, which is worn off. And I have the Princeton um, Velvet Touch. It's a number eight, long round. You can use any brush you want, but that's what I'm using. Um, I have so many brushes. I mean, I have lots of brushes from over the years, so I'm not, there's no shortage of brushes. So um, let me turn on the light here because it looks kind of dark. Okay, maybe that's better. I hope so. Okay, and I am in focus. Okay, so I have my water, and you want two jars of water. One is to, you know, you constantly clean off your brush, and then when you want to, uh, you know, when you wipe it off, and then when you want to give it uh, another clean uh, wash, you go into the, the clean jar. Okay, so what I did prior to starting was I went and drew out some birds, um, but I drew the feathers in. It's a little bit more realistic, <clears throat> but it's still whimsical on a branch. And I just drew out a couple of flowers and then the rest I'm probably going to just, um, you know, do without drawing. I really didn't need to draw out the, um, the what do you call it, um, tulip. I think I'm going to erase it. So we'll erase the tulip because we don't need that in there and actually I would prefer um, I would prefer another pansy but um yeah I think I'm gonna I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna draw it on you know online because I I'm not good at drawing so I'm just gonna turn off the camera and draw another pansy so there's the third pansy, and um, I just don't feel comfortable because I'm constantly erasing like this one I'm not happy with. Get rid of that, fix it, and then something like that. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to, oh, and I'm also going to use the Grabby watercolor this was my first set of watercolor and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. It's uh, $19.99 on Amazon and you get, I think it's 50. Five, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 50 um, different colors. They're beautiful colors and they're a great set. So we're going to use that today. I love the Kiritaki. I love the Winsor Newton. They're the Winsor Newton Professional. But we're going to go and use um, the colors that we have in here, which I think are really vibrant and nice. And it comes with a, um, a swatch sheet, which feels like cold press. And, you know, you're able to swatch out the colors. So <clears throat> here we go. All right, so I drew a 
a whimsical bird, a uh, bird, a whimsical butterfly, and a um, bumblebee, two birds, and some flowers, and we'll see where it takes us. Okay, so in the past I have drawn um, painted birds, but um, I did a lot of um, acrylics. I can't think. All right, I'll be okay. All right, so we're going to make this bird very kind of whimsical. And we're going to go in here, wipe the brush a little bit more. And I really do like these paints. I mean, they're not professional, but I really think that they are, in my humble opinion, very nice. So we're just going to fill this in like that. Go around. And to the beak. I have been non-stop painting. It's become an addiction. Um, okay, so we got the blue. We're going to go with like a lime green in here. And we're going to paint down. We'll probably do some um, pen in here. And I also wet down the paints before I got started. And we're just going to fill this in. And like that. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of um, abstract drawing. I'll show you um, after this if I remember. <clears throat> Hopefully, I do. Okay, we're going to go into the... Now we're going to get the <clears throat> blue again. Which blue did I use? Okay, we're going to go in here. Let's mix with a little bit of the... And we're going to go down here. Okay, looks like I still have some green on here, but that's okay. And we're just going to paint... Feathers. And just add some more blue. And then what I want to do is add some orange. So let's get in here and I think this is let's see one, two, three, permanent. No, that can't be permanent green. It says permanent green. How could that be? Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Permanent yellow. Permanent yellow. So we're gonna go in here with the brush. Come around like that. And just bring it up like that. And there we go, we got our first bird. I'm going to go back and do that after that dries. And we'll go around this with some pen. Okay, let's do this this young lady over here. So um, you're going to get a red belly. And maybe we'll do some of this purple up here. I think it's called lilac. Lilac. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Spread that around. All 
I really love these pinks. I think they're great student grade pinks. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat it. It's a great way to get started. Okay, so we got that. And let's see, purple. Maybe we'll do something in... I wanted to do red for the stomach. Um, hmm. Hmm. What should we do? Maybe we'll do some pink. Pink down here. And then we need a different color down here, so we'll go back in with the purple. And we'll go down like this. There's something magical about painting with watercolors. There's so many techniques. I mean, you can use, um, no, I was going to say sand. You can use salt. I think we're going to do that. I've been doing a lot of abstracts and, um, there we go. Okay, and you're going to get, I was going to do you in a, red belly but now I'm thinking maybe I'll give you a lime green belly yeah one of my favorite colors So now we're going to do the branches, and I think we'll pick like a, um, it says yellow-gray. Doesn't look it, but it's also got some yellow. Okay, actually that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go in here. And just paint along. This big branch, thick branch. And bring it down. And this one's going to be burnt umber. A little bit of water. You're coming out the other end right here. Like that. Okay, there we go. So we got two different branches and we're bumping into the pansies, but that's okay, we'll fix it. And Let's see, let's do the bumblebee. So the bumblebee gets black. We got black over here. We're just gonna do the head in black. And black there. And then we'll let that dry. And then um, the bumblebee I think what I'm going to do is wet the bumblebee. 
Uh, not the bumblebee, the um, butterfly. I'll just wet it. And throw down some color. So let's grab the lime green. And we'll do lime green around the outer edge here. Down here. Wet it. A couple of drops there. Let that burst. Okay. So we'll let those dry. And now we're going to go in and do the pansies. So I'm going to wet the pansy. And we're going to put down some purple. And we're just going to do the inside. Let that, let that develop and move. Okay, let's do another one. Let's wet this one. And I think what I'm going to do is go in with one of the orange. So, and I think this is just plain old orange. So we're just going to drop wet your brush to wet the paint, let that go in, like that, a couple of dot dot dots there, and let that do its thing. Okay, then we're going to go into here, and we're going to wet the brush, and yes, it still has some other paint on it, but that's okay. Just wet your petals. It's got yellow in there. So that's what the clean water is for, to clean off your brush totally. But we're not going to do that. Okay, so we're going to go in with a, a green. I don't know if there are this... Okay, wet the brush again. I don't know if there are these types of pansies, but you know what? We're going to We're going to create them. Because when you're painting, you can do whatever you want. That's what's great about it. And there. Okay, so we'll let those develop. And then we're going to go in here. I'm going to clean off my brush and get some of these blue. And I'm going to have to put a little water, wet it. Because the paper is very dry, so that's why I go into the water. And we're going to outline these little, I think they're forget-me-nots, I'm not sure. Okay. And then we'll go back later and we'll put yellow in the middle. So we're just pulling these in. With a blue, a shade of blue. make sure that I am in focus and I'm just going over the petals like that and I have to say I um, my little guy Baxter if you're aware I have a little dog and um, I think he's really slowing down I see a big change in him this past week. He's not able to get through the night and hold it in. He's extremely thirsty. He's losing his vision and his hearing. Um, he's going to be 14, so 
I have to wake up in the middle of the night so he can get water and then go outside. So, but that's what happens when you have a dog, an older dog. You know, they get old. Okay, so we're going to do some whimsical flowers in here and <coughs> we'll pick up some pink. Wet the brush again. And we're going to go like this. We're going to create five petals and they're like that real easy you you just use the side of your brush and like that and it's good that there are different um, shades of the pink you know different um, you know what I'm saying I'm looking for the right word and I can't find it okay that's all right okay so now we're gonna do a yellow one do a yellow one here to do a shade of green and we'll do one up here with the brush one just with the side of the um, brush So we'll let that dry and then what I'm going to do is paint some whimsical flowers on the branch so we want this so we're just going to wet the brush so the paint is and we're just going to put down these little flowers like that I have to remember not to touch the paints. Just move these like that. Bring some like this. And just wet it again. There we go. And we'll do the same down here. Add some, oh, look at that. We got a, just wet that a little bit. Yep, Baxter is slowing down this week. Has been obvious. He's such a great dog. Okay, so we got that color going. And then what we're going to do is add some red, a shade of red. Now let's wet it because the paper is very dry. So we'll put some red in here. Like that. And maybe one over here. Just a little bit more. You have to remember to be careful. No, 
not to touch the paints that are still trying to dry. So just remember, this is a whimsical kind of an art. All right, so we got that. And then we're going to add and we'll do this green. And we'll put a little bit of, oh, wet the brush. A little bit of green, which mixed with whatever color is inside the water. Turned it a little bit. Okay, be careful. Like I said, be careful. I just bumped into, let's go down here. We'll start this first. Yeah, so my daughter is selling her house and leaving Florida and moving to Maine, which is a really beautiful state from what I understand. I've never been there, so it will be some place that I will be visiting. Yeah, so I, I took Baxter for a walk, but he didn't want to do his usual long walk. So we came back home, and then I went out because I, I need to do, you know, my own exercise. And I went for my long walk, which usually he comes with me when we do this. And um, I bumped into so many neighbors that all asked me because they never see me walking without him. Where's Baxter? Where's Baxter? So I had to explain, you know, I took him for a long walk. I, well, not a long walk. I took him for his walk, the, the, the length of walk that he wanted. I said, but he wanted to go back home. So they know that that's unusual for him. And he's, he's right here sitting in the corner. We got up. Uh, what time did we get up this morning, Baxter? It was like four, no, one o'clock in the morning, the first walk. And he was hungry, not hungry, thirsty, pardon me, thirsty, so he needed water. And then the next one was uh, 6 o'clock. He got up, which is a good time to get up. And we're just going to add this, a few of these. think we're good. Just a couple. Okay. Do a couple over here. We got. And then we're good. Okay, so now let's go back to the pansies. Let's clean this brush off. Okay, so the brush is clean. Now we want to go back into the pansy, so I'm going to wet it again. Because the paper is very dry. And then we're going to put in some, um, let's use red. That. And we're just going to go around. Go up through here. carefully to around the edges with the tip of the brush yeah so everybody noticed that I was not with him and it's they don't you know like they see me always with him I usually wear a hat too they call me um, Linda with the hat actually which is funny because they used to call my mother Mary with the hat And then somebody who didn't know my mother said, yeah, you're Linda with the hat. So, you know, down in Florida, you have to be very careful because the sun can really damage your skin. 
Okay, that's a little bit brighter than I really wanted it to be. So I'm going to try and take some of that paint off. And then over here, we're going to do some purple. So let's get the purple, get my brush, and I'm just going to go around the outside perimeter like that. Yeah, it's going to be weird without him. I know I still have plenty of time to be with him, but it's, I'm preparing myself. So, it will all be okay. There's always transitions in life. People come, people go. Things change. You move. You know, I might get, I'm surprised Maria didn't call me my friend. Because I called her yesterday. And I've been thinking about her. Usually when I'm thinking of somebody, I hear from them. Okay, so. That. I'm going to go like that. There we go. And you know what? This one's a little, this one's just a little bit light. So we're just going to go like that. Okay. All right. Now we need this one. So this one, I think I'm going to do a burst of yellow. Let's make sure this brush is clean. Go into the, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get yellow, lemon yellow, and we're going to wet the brush, and we're just going to go around like that with, with yellow outline. This is going to get colored in, and we're going to go around this with the yellow. There we go. Okay. And um, this one I'm not super crazy. I'm just going to drag that a little bit. Drag that. Okay. Now I want to put in um, the yellow in here. So here we go. Yellow. Yellow's going in here. Do that. These little forget-me-nots, I think. Okay, and then let's do the yellow and go. Let's hopefully, this should be dry. Just wet that a little bit. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got that. Let's go and get the, I think it's Payne's Gray. We'll get the Payne's Gray. And we're just going to move this down and outline the outer edge. Whoops of the um, of the wing and then we clean that off and we have to go inside and do the inside of the um, 
So let's do um, let's do purple in the middle of this one. Wet the brush. We'll do purple in the middle of this one. Like that. This one, these two I think I'll do yellow. Let's get some yellow. Wet the brush. Yellow in there. That really didn't pop. I'm gonna have to change that. Yellow in there. What we'll do is put some red. Let it drop down some red. There we go. Okay, now we're moving on to these flowers. I didn't forget you, butterfly. Um, maybe butterfly we'll do, uh, let's see, let's look at the chart. Yellow okra. All right, so we'll do some yellow okra in here. And just go down and let that dry. Maybe we'll pick up that yellow ochre again and we'll go inside here here and here okay we're getting there so now I'm going to pick up let me look at these okay it's hard to I think this is, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, I want this one. This one's Prussian, Prussian blue. So we're gonna wet, and we're gonna go like this down. This one's going to come down like this. And there's going to be one like there and one, one there. Okay. And then we're going to do some odd looking leaves or stems. Leaves. Like that. little spikes coming out like this real easy with the tip of your brush like that do one up here just like that maybe bring one out here here like that okay moving on we're gonna get the green again I think it's Prussian Prussian blue I'm not sure I'm trying to focus on painting here and so I'm going to do this and then squigglies and then fill it in same thing here out like this I'll turn this a little bit 
Am I in focus? I hope so. And then just a little wiggly like that. Leaves come in various different shapes. So that's what we're in a little point there. A little line here. Okay, I just realized something. I should oh wrong, wrong jar. Okay, I should have done this to let me see if I can still do it. Okay, you want to take an old credit card and use that, and you just scrape lines. This may not happen now because I, I'm too distracted with what I'm doing. But you, when, you, when it's wet, that's when you're supposed to do it, and I think I messed up. But that's okay. Let's see if I can do it on the red. that let that you're really supposed to do it right after you um, paint it in and what will happen is it'll give you these lines which will um, represent the veins yeah that's coming through there we go so let's do it again over here I'll just wet it reactivate the paint and then use the card. You can use also you. Oh, okay, be careful. You can also use a feather. So if you come across feathers, um, pick them up. Of course, I have feathers. Ah, pretty big ones right here. But I'm showing you that if you don't have one, you can use a card. I'm trying to keep the number of the card out. It's an old card that I, I never use it. Okay. So let's continue with branch, with not branches, with um, petals and leaves. Okay, so we're going to go down like this and over like that. Let's bring these down. like that okay so we're going to go back in here and we're going to draw wonky little leaves So let's bring this down. Bring that down. Point like that. Okay, here we go. And then we're just going to do some more leaves. Like that, little point, and Not crazy about that. Okay, let's let that dry. Let's go back up here and um, I'm going to add, I think, purple water. And we're just going to go in here like this the purple. Like 
that. Just using the tip of the brush and outlining. There we go. Now that's done. So, um, we need some more leaves. Okay, we're just going to go like this. Just some wonky little leaves. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is let this dry and we're going to do some pen and outline it and then we'll see how that comes out. So I'm going to let that dry. So I'm back. So to save a little bit of time because I didn't realize how we're already like 46 minutes into this, I did some um, pen here so that you could see the difference between the pen work and no pen. So I'm going to continue doing this with you and I'm going to do some feet here, the antennas, and then um, I'm going to finish just outlining the leaves. It gives it more of a whimsical um, look and it really makes it all pop. I actually love outlining with the pen. And then after this, I wanna show you some stuff I've been doing. I'm just like addicted to painting. It's like, I'll go out with friends and I'm thinking about what am I gonna do when I get home to paint? It's not a bad addiction, actually. I'm happy. changing the way this foot is going and so I put two um, toes in the front because birds have three and the the third one is in the back in case you're wondering I used to have an African gray parrot and I had some cockatiels and I love them dearly and um, the parrot used to talk but going to school and working on papers and schoolwork and little kids and you know it was too much plus I had two dogs and you know a lot of responsibilities so I couldn't keep up with it all. All right, here we go. Into the bird. So we're just going to go around. And then here, we're going to do the feathers. This is just one way of doing it. This is the way I used to do it um, when I was doing acrylics. I'm actually looking at one of my paintings that I did a long time ago that I pulled out of the garage. I think I hit it with the car too, so it's a little banged up. But I'll show you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't have a lot of my stuff that I used to have. Okay, so let's do the butterfly. Sorry, I banged into the camera. And we're gonna go around like this. Give him a pointed body. I 
and then the two eyes. And I just like to do these whimsical um, kind of antennas. Okay, so I did these. I'm just going to go down the stems over these wonky type of leaves. And this one's going to come up like this. And you can see it transforms. Okay, and then we'll go down. move on okay and then we'll do the veins on these okay and then I'm just gonna go around these whimsical leaf petals and don't worry if you know you go not exactly in the lines, on the lines. Forget about what they told us in school. Just play and have fun. I'm telling you, this is honestly a great um, craft. Is it a craft? I know I'm the crafting depot. I didn't know what to name myself. And you know, I've evolved into painting. And a lot of my channel started off making um, journals. And I learned that and I enjoyed it. But I wanted to get back to art painting. So, how cool is that? Okay, so we're going to do these little, let's see how they change by just doing pen over them and going around. So that looks, I just want to show you the difference. Let's move my coffee. So that's one that's been, um, you know, traced around and then there's some without it. So it's up to you, whichever look you're looking for. They're both good. Just wanted to show you the difference up close. And there we go. Yeah, I did a um, whimsical landscape uh, two days ago, and that took me a long time in the sketchbook. Okay, so we're just going to go down like this. Oops. And maybe next to it like that. like that. Do that. And we might as well finish, right? Okay, so we got that. We got this. The flowers. Um, the only thing I need to do now is this one I want to give him, let me see, I was able to do it with the acrylic. Let's see how it works out with um, 
the watercolor. Okay, so what I want to do is just go around the outside of the eye with a little bit of the lime green. Yeah. And then I think what I'm going to do is let that dry and then I'll take the Posca pen and I'll just go inside with the white. Let's do that here. Even though I don't need to do it really. And then let's get the outside, the back of the eye on this one. Make it darker. Or thicker rather. And um, we'll take the tape off. Let me think. Was it? Do, is there anything else? No. So let's take the tape off, and we should be done. Okay. off and I want to show you some things that I was working on and I may do a video on okay so here it is our whimsical um, birds and flowers I hope you like it if you do please hit the like and subscribe button because I do a lot of videos so let me show you um, in this sketchbook, I have been working on, well, as you've seen, birds, tulips. Um, I've done some whimsical trees, whimsical birds, um, the pansies. You saw that. I did that video. But I also did this. This is coming out on a larger scale. Here is it. I think this is coming out tomorrow. Uh, oops, sorry, I bumped into it. So that's on a larger scale. But I started there, and then I was working on this, which I really like, and I think that's gonna that might be my next um, video. So anyway, with that, I hope you um, enjoyed it. And if you did, again, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be doing a lot of painting, and I wish you all a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye bye.